Hey everybody, it's Charmel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another protective style. This protective style will be featuring the new Nala Tress line from Janet Collection. So let's just get right into it. So Janet Collection recently launched a new hairline. Again, it's the Nala Tress hairline. The hairline includes the trendy passion twist, blunt box braids, goddess braids, um, what else? It has Senegalese twists and uh, faux locks. So I went ahead and chose the passion twist. So I actually tried passion twists last fall. My results were kind of iffy. So when I seen that they're now offering crochet passion twists, I was like, let me try it again using this crochet method and see if I like these better. So the passion twists, they come in 18 inches, 24 inches, and 28 inches. I got them in the length 24 inches um, I got 24 inches in 1B it does come in a range of colors so um, comes in 1, 1B, 2, 4, 27, 6, 1, 3, burgundy 51 and I think these are like ombre colors so I kept it simple 1B and 24 inches so each pack comes with 15 or 16 twists in my head now, I have a little under two packs of hair. Um, they actually sent me like six packs, but I wanted to go kind of with like the chunkier um, jumbo kind of look. I pretty much used a full two packs. I have like three twists left from my second pack. So this hair is super lightweight. It literally feels like I have nothing on my head right now. They're extremely lightweight. They have a lot of movement and body. They're not loose. Um, the twists like look like hand twisted passion twists. And then the ends, they're kind of loose in like this curl. I will say the only thing, well my least favorite thing about these twists are the ends. They're just like a little too uniform for my personal taste. I feel like they should have just kind of twisted it all the way to the bottom as much as possible but that's minor I did kind of try to like take apart some of the curls at the end but it started to cause them to frizz so I was like I'll just leave it alone um but yeah but they are pre-looped so installing them was super easy so I decided to go ahead and install mine um as the individual in the individual crochet method make sure you watch the video to the end so you can see how I install these. The method that I use, it does require you to kind of manipulate the twist a bit um, at the root. Um, so I'm not kind of sure how long they'll last in the long run. However, the process was super simple to the point where it's like if I have to redo them or if they're getting messy or what have you, it was just so easy to do that. I don't mind doing touch-ups um, if need be. It took me about two, two and a half hours to install these. If you're more crochet savvy, it might take you less than, than that. I'm just not the fastest crocheter because I don't do crochet styles often. But even then, like I said, it took me about two, two and a half hours. I think that's all I really have as far as like the specs. So far, I'm loving this style. I do like them chunkier this time around than when I attempted to do these last year and I did them kind of small and I didn't like my results. I'm actually feeling the way that this install looks this time. That is all. I will leave the link and all the information about these twists down below. Definitely watch to the end if you want to see how I install these. And thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you ladies next time. Alright guys, so I pretty much have half of my head done. And I'm going to show you guys the process that I've been doing because I am doing the individual crochet method. Um, my plaits are fairly large, so I'm actually getting through it pretty fast. So far, I only used one pack of hair as well so yeah all right so this can be two braids so i'm just gonna part it down the middle and i am using um the shining jam to smooth my hair down so 
So I'm going to start by braiding and then I'm going to braid a little ways down. And then I'm going to start twisting. So I really only braid the base of it and I'm still using the jam as I go just to kind of smooth my hair as much as possible. Same steps for this work. So I'm going to take my twist. So I will say that this method does require me to kind of manipulate the hair. But yeah, normally when you do like the individual crochet method, um, if you're doing like faux locks or just other type of styles, a lot of times people like to slide their hair through the center portion of the twist. But because these are passion twists and you know passion twists kind of have that messy, um, not really uniformed type of feel to them. You can't really just slide your hair through it, so I do kind of have to manipulate it a little bit. So I'm going to start by just kind of untwisting the base so that I can create a loop. I'm going to take my crochet needle, slide it through the base of my braid, loop the hair on, and pull it through. Then I'm just going to pull the loop that uh, twist through the loop and you guys can see this one so this is where I have to manipulate it so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gently untwist the root then I'm gonna take my natural hair and I'm just going to twist that along one side of the twist. And you can use um, the jam as well to kind of help make your hair stick. Now, I'm just finish. So as you guys can see, my braid is twisted in with one side. And then I'm just going to let loose and kind of retwist the braid back together. So it doesn't necessarily look exactly the same as it did before, but the good thing is that passion twists naturally kind of have that messy look to it. So yeah, it doesn't bother me too much that it's not super uniform. Now, if you have longer hair, my hair is kind of like on the medium length side, um, so I can get away with it. Now, if you have longer hair, I'm not quite sure how this method will work because you'll have to untwist more of the braid, but it kind of works for me. And that's the reason why I only braided the root and then twisted the end so that as is, you guys can see, this is like my natural twist. But it kind of blends in and goes along with the theme. So yeah, that's the method that I've been using. So I'm just going to demonstrate another one. 